हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द पीडी लाइफ साइंस अकेडमी फॉर द हैप्पी लर्निंग नीट एग्जाम की प्रिपरेशन जे विद्यार्थी करते हैं बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट लर्निंग लिंकिंग ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट जेवड़े गरजे है तेवड़े एन सी आर टी बुकम चैप्टर से कंटेट रीड करने आवश्यक है ये करता फक्त एक रीडिंग करूँ चलना नहीं मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिविजन होने गरजे है यहाँ टाड़ाटा करने चांगले नवे अपन सेट के लिए टार्गेट अचीव करना सा पी डी लाइफ साइन्स अकेडमी ने सर्व स्टूडेंट्स जे नीट एग्जाम से प्रिपरेशन करीत ट्वेंटी वन डे रीडिंग चैलेंज की सुरवत के लिए है रोज एक चैप्टर से रीडिंग आप कम्प्लीट करना आहोत हे चैलेंज ज्यादा विद्यार्थ्या ऐक्सेप्ट के लिए डेली टार डेली टार्गेट अचीव के कॉमेंट करूँ संगाइच है सो लेट्स गेट रेडी फॉर टेकिंग रीडिंग चैलेंज ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट थैंक यू ट्वेंटी वन डे बायोलॉजी रीडिंग चैलेंज डे फोर रीडिंग चैलेंज चैप्टर नंबर फोर फ्रॉम एन सी आर टी बायोलॉजी टेक्स बुक ऑफ इलेवन स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर नंबर फोर एनिमल किंगडम वेन वी लुक अराउंड वी विल ऑब्जर्व द डिफरंट एनिमल्स विथ डिफरंट स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड द फॉर्म्स एज ओवर द मिलियन स्पेसीज ऑफ एनिमल्स हैव बीन डिस्क्राइब टिल नाउ द नीड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन बिकम्स ऑल द मोर इम्पॉर्टंट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन द असाइनिंग ए सिस्टमैटिक पोजिशन टू न्यूली डिस्क्राइब स्पेसीज Now the four point one, basics of classification. In spite of the differences in the structures and forms of the different animals, there are the fundamental features common to the various individuals in relation to the arrangement of cell, body symmetry, nature of the coelom, pattern of the digestive and circulatory or reproductive systems. These features are used as a basis. of animal classification and some of them are discussed here now the 4.1.1 the level of organization though all members of the animalia are multicellular all of them do not exhibit the same pattern of organization of cell for example the sponges the cells are aggregates as a loose cell aggregate that is they exhibit the cellular level of organization some divisions of the level that is the activities occurs among the cell in coelomates the arrangement of the cell are more complex here the cells performing the same function are arranged into the tissues hence called as a tissue level of organization still the higher level of organization that is the organ level is exhibited by members of the platyhelminthes and other higher phyla where the tissues are grouped together to form organs each specialized for the particular function in animals like an annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata and chordata organs have associated to form the functional systems each system concerned with the specific physiological functions this pattern is known as a organ system level of organization the organ system in different organ organ systems in different groups of animals exhibit the various patterns of the complexities for example the digestive system in the platyhelminthes has only a single opening to the outside of the body that serve as a both mouth and the anus and is hence called as incomplete A complete digestive system has a two openings, mouth and the anus. Similarly, the circulatory system may be of two types. The first is the open type. An open type in which the blood is a pump out the heart and the cell and the tissues are directly bath in it. And the second is a closed type in which the blood is circulated throughout the series of the vessels of the vari varying diameters that is the arteries veins and the capillaries now the 4.1.2 that is the symmetry animals can be categorized on the basis of their symmetry the sponges are mostly asymmetrical that is any plant 
any plane that passes through the center does not divide say into equal halves when any plane passes through the central axis of the body divides the organism into the two identical halves it is called as a radial symmetry colenterets tinofora and echinodermata has this kind of the body plane <coughs> animals like annelida arthropoda etc where the body can be divided into the identical left and the right halves and in only one plane exhibit the bilateral symmetry diploblastic 4.1.3 is a diploblastic triploblastic organization animals in which the cells are arranged in the two embryonic layers and external ectoderm and the internal is endoderm are called as the diploblastic animals for example colenterets and undifferentiated layers that is the mesoglea is present in between the ectoderm and the endoderm those animals in which developing embryos has a third germinal layer that is the mesoderm in between the ectoderm and the endoderm are called as a triplo triploblastic animals for example the platyhelminths through the to chordates now 4.1.4 is a silom presence or absence of the cavity between the body wall and the gut wall is a very important in the classification the body cavity which is a line by the mesoderm is called as a silom animal possessing the silom are called as a silomates for example the annelids mollusk arthropods echinoderms hemichordates and chordates in some animals and the body cavity is not lined by the mesoderm instead the mesoderm is present as a scattered pouches in between the ectoderm and the endoderm such a body cavity is called as a pseudocilom and the animals possessing them called as a pseudocilomates for example the ascalmenthes the animals in which the body cavity is absent is called as a ocelomates for example the platyhelminths now 4.1.5 is a segmentation in some animals the body is externally and internally divided into the segments with a series with a serial repetition of at least some organs for example in earthworm the body shows the patterns called as a metameric segmentation and the phenomenon is known as a metamerism now the 4.1.6 is a notochord notochord is a mesodermally derived the rod like structure formed on the dorsal side during the embryonic development in some animals animals with a notochord is called as a chordates and those animals which do not form these structures are called as a non chordate for example the porifera to echinoderms now the 4.2 is a classification of animals the broad classification of animalia based on the common fundamental features as mentioned in the proceeding sections is given and figure that is the animalia it is a multicellular kingdom levels of organization cell at the cellular level and the tissue and the organ level in cellular level there are mostly asymmetric animals then body cavity or silom is present that is the ocelomata and phylum is a porifera now the tissue or organ of or the organ system the symmetry may be radial or bilateral in radial symmetry the body cavity or silom is the ocelomate and phylum is a colenterata that is it is known as a nidaria and the tinoforum now where the animalia multicellular form the tissue and organ or the organ system where the symmetry is a bilateral symmetry the body cavity or silom there are the three types without the body cavity known as a ocelomate and phylum is a platyhelminthes with a false silom that is the pseudocelomate and phylum is a ascalmenthes and with a true silom that is the silomates the phylums are annelida arthropoda mollusca echinodermata hemichordata and chordata the important characteristic features of the different phyla are described as follows the 4.2.1 the phylum porifera the members of this phylum are commonly known as sponges they are generally marine and mostly asymmetrical animals 
this primitive multicellular animals and how the cellular organization the sponges have the water transport or the canal system water enters through the minute pores that is known as ostea in the body wall into the central cavity that is the spongiocell from where it goes out through the osculum this pathway of the water transport is helpful in the water gathering respiration exchange and the removal of the wastage Canocytes or the collar cells line the spongio cells and the canals. The digestion is uh, intracellular. The body is uh, supported by the skeletal skeleton made up of the spicules or the spongin fiber, uh, fibers. The sexes are not separated. That is the hermaphrodite in state. That is the eggs and the sperms are produced by the same individual. The sponges reproduce asexually by the fragmentation and the sexually by the formation of the gamete. Fertilization is internal and the development is indirect having a larval stage which is a morphologically distinct from the adult. Now the examples of porifera are the sycon, eusponjia and the spongilla. Now the example sycon it is also known as a sypha. Spongilla it is the fresh water sponges and the eusponjia it is the it is also known as a bath sponge now the 4.2.2 the phylum is the collenterata or it is also known as a nidaria they are the aquatic and mostly marine sessile or a free swimming radially symmetrical animals the name nidaria is derived from the nidoblast or the nidocytes which contains the stinking capsules or the nematocytes present on the tentacles and the body the nidoblast are used for the anchorage defense and for the capturing of the prey the nidarian exhibit the tissue level of the organization and are the diploblastic they have the central gastrovascular cavity with a single opening mouth on the hypostome digestion is extracellular and the intracellular some of the nidarian for example the corals have a skeletal compo skeleton composed of the calcium carbonate nidarian exhibit the two basic forms called as a polyps and the medusa the form is a sessile the former is a sessile and cylindrical form like a hydra adamsia etc where the lateral is the umbrella shape and the free swimming like the orella orelia and the jellyfish those nidarians which exits in a both forms exhibit alteration of the generation that is the metagenesis that is the polyps produce a medusa a sexually and the medusa medusi forms the polyps sexually for example the obelia for example the polycep physelia that is known as the portuguese man of war adamsia that is the sea anemone penetula that is the sea pen gorgonia that is the sea fan menandrina means the brain coral now the 4.2.3 is a phylum is a tinophora tinophora commonly known as a sea wall walnut or a com jelly com jellies are exclusively marine radially symmetrical and diploblastic organism with a tissue level of organization the body bears the eight external rows of ciliated complets which helps in the locomotion digestion is a both extracellular and intracellular bioluminous that is the property of the living organism to emit the light is a well marked in the tinophores the sexes are not separated reproduction takes place only by the sexual means fertilization is a external with indirect development for example the pleurobachia and the tinoplana now the 4.2.4 the phylum is a platyhelminthes they are the dorso ventrally flattened bodies hence are called as a flat worms these are mostly endoparasites found in the animal including the human beings the flat worms are bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic or coelomet animals with the organ level of the organization hooks and the suckers are present in the parasitic forms some of them are absorb the nutrients from the host directly through their body surface specialized cells called as a flame cells 
help in the osmoregulation and the excretion. So the sexes are not separated. Fertilization is internal and development is through the many larval stages. Some members like the planaria possess the higher regeneration capacity. For example, the tenia that is the tapeworm and the fasciola that is the liver flux. Now the 4.2.5 that phylum is the ascalmenthes. The body of the ascalmenthes is a circular and the cross section hence the name is a round worm. They may be free living, aquatic and terrestrial or parasitic in the plants and animals. The round worms have a organ system level of the body organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and the pseudocoelomate animals. Alimentary canal is a complete with a well developed muscular pharynx. An, excre an excretory tube removes the body waste from the body cavity through the excretory pores. Sexes are separate that is the diaceous form that is the male and the female are the distinct. Often females are the longer than the male. Fertilization is a internal and development may be direct. The young ones resemble the adult or indirect. For example, Ascaris is known as a round worm or Voucheria. It is known as a fila filaria worm or ankylostoma. It is also known as a hook worm. Now the 4.2.6 is a phylum is an annelida. They may be aquatic, marine or the fresh marine and the fresh water or terrestrial, free living and sometimes parasitic. They exhibit the organ system level of the body organization and the bilateral symmetry. They are triploblastic, metamerically segmented and silomate animals. Their body surface is a distinctly marked out into the segments or metamers and hence the phylum name annelida in latin annulus means the little rings are formed on the body they possess the longitudinal and the circular muscles which helps in the locomotion aquatic annelids like the nerys possess the lateral appendages known as a parapodia which helps in the swimming a closed circulatory system is present nephridia in singular nephridium is for it is known help in the osmoregulation and the excretion the neural system consists of the paired ganglia the singular is a ganglion connected by the lateral nerves to the double ventral nervous system the nerys an aquatic form is a diaceous but earthworm and the leech are the monoecious reproduction is a sexual now the examples of the annelida are the nerys ferretima it is also known as earthworm and hiruda and hirudinaria it is also known as a blood sucker or leech now the 4.2.7 is a phylum is a arthropoda this is the largest phylum of the animalia which include the insects over the two two third of the all names of the species on the earth are arthropoda they are the organ system level organization they are the bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic segmented and silomate animals the body of the arthropods is covered by the chitinous exoskeleton the body consists of the head thorax and abdomen they have the jointed appendages arthros means the joints and the podas means appendages the respiratory organs are the gills book lungs book gills book lungs or the trochaeal systems the circulatory system is often an open type sensory organ like the antennae eyes eyes may be compound or the simple then the statocyst or the balancing organ are present excretion takes place through the malpighian tubules they are mostly the diaceous fertilization is usually internal they are mostly the oviparous development may be direct or indirect for example economically important insects apis or the honey bees bombax that is the silk silk worm then the lacifers that is the lac insect the vectors are the anopheles culex adis that is the mosquito then the gregarious gregarious pest that is the locusta or it may be known as a locust living fossils are the limulus that is the king crab limulus is known as a king crab now the 4.2.8 the phylum is a mollusca this is the second largest animal animal phylum 
द मोलिस्का आर द टेरेस्ट्रियर और एक्वेटिक दैट मे बी मराइन और द फ्रेश वाटर हैविंग एंड द ऑर्गन सिस्टीम लेवल ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे आर पायलेट्रोली सिमेट्रिकल ट्रिप्लोडास्टिक एंड सिलोमेट एनिमल्स बॉडी इज कवर्ड बाय द कैलकुलेस शीट कैलकुलेस शेल एंड इज अनसेगमेंटेड विथ द डिस्टिंक हेड मस्क्यूलर फूड एंड द विसर हम A soft and the spongy layer of the skin forms a mantle over the visceral hump. The space between the hump and the mantle is called as a mantle cavity in which the feathers like the gills are present. They have the respiratory and the excretory fact functions. The anterior head region has a sensory tentacles and the mouth contains a file like rasping organs for the feeding called as a radula. now they are usually the diaceous and the oviparous with the indirect development for example the pila pila is known as a apple snail then the pintada that is the pearl oyster then the sepia that is the cuttlefish logeo that is the squids octopus it is known as a devil fish then apicia is the sea hares then the dentalium it is the tusk shell and the ketopleura it is the chiton now the 4.2.9 the phylum is the echinodermata this animal have an the exoskeleton of the calcareous ossicles and hence the name is echinodermata that is the spiny bodies all are the marine with the organ system level of the organization the adult echinoderms are the radially symmetrical but larvae are the bilaterally symmetrical the are the triploblastic and the coelomate animals digestive system is a complete with a mouth on the lower or the ventral side and anus on the upper or the dorsal side the most distinctive features of the echinodermata is the presence of the water vascular system which helps in the locomotion capture and the transport of the food and the respiration an excretory system is absent sexes are separated reproduction is asexual fertilization is usually external development is indirect with the free swimming larvae for example the asteris that is the starfish echinus for example sea urchin then the antidon that is the sea lily cucumaria that is the sea cucumber ophina ophin ophira that is the brittle star Now the 4.2.10 the phylum is the Hemichordata. Hemichordata was earlier considered as a sub phylum under the phylum Chordata, but now it is a place as a separate phylum under the non chordates. The hemichordates have the rudimentary structures in the collar regions called as a stomochords. The structure similar to the notochord. This phylum consists of the small group of the worm like the marine animals with organ system level of the organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic, and coelomate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of the anterior proboscis, a collar, and a trunk, and long trunk. Now, the circulatory system of the open type. Respiration takes place through the gills. Excretory organ is a proboscis uh, organ is a proboscis glands, and sexes are the separated. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. For example, the balanoglossus and the sacoglossus. Now the 4.2.11 that is the phylum Chordata. Animals belonging to the phylum Chordata Chordata are the fundamentally characterized by the presence of the notochord, a dorsal hollow nerve cord and the pair pharyngeal gill slits. These are the bilaterally symmetrical triploblastic coelomates with the organ organ system level of the organization. They possess the post anal tail and the closed circulatory system. Present <coughs> 4.1 table 4.1 present a comparison of the silent features of the chordata and non chordata now chordates having the notochord is present central nervous system is a dorsal hollow and a single pharynx is the perforated by the gill slits then the heart is a ventral a position a post anal part that is the tail is present in case of non chordate notochord is absent central nervous system is a ventral and solid and a double the gill slits are absent heart is a dorsal if present post anal tail is absent now the phylum chordata is divided into the three sub phylums that is the urochordata or it is also known as a tunicata cephalochordata and the vertebrata sub phylum urochordata and the cephalochordata are often referred to as the protochordates and are exclusively marines 
In urochordata, the notochord is present only in the larva tails, while in the cephalochordata, it extends from the head to the tail region and is a persistent throughout their life. For example, the urochordata, the ascaria, salpa, then the doliolum, cephalochordata. In cephalochordata, branchiostoma. It includes the amphioxus or the lancelets. The members of the subphylum vertebrata possess the notochord during the embryonic periods. The notochord is replaced by the cartilaginous or the bony vertebral column in the adult. Thus, all vertebrates are the chordates, but all chordates are not vertebrates. Besides the basic chordate uh, characters, vertebrates have a ventromuscular heart with a two, three, or four chambers. Kidney for the excretion and the osmoregulation and the paired appendages which may be fins or limbs. Now the subphylum vertebrata is divided as follows. The vertebrata, uh, vertebrata division uh, in two divisions that is the agnatha that is the lax jaw and ganthostomata which bears the jaw. Now the agnatha which lacks the jaw it includes the one class that is the cyclostomata. Now the gnanthostomata bears the jaw. It shows the two superclasses that is the pisces means bears the fins. It includes the two classes that is the chondrichthys and osteichthys. Whereas the second class, second superclass is the tetrapora which bears the limbs and it includes the four classes that is the amphibia, reptilia and eus and mammals. Now the 4.2.11.1 that is the class is the cyclostomata. All living members of the class Cyclostomata are the ectoparasite on the some fishes. They have an elongated body bearing the 6 to, uh, six to 15 pairs of the gill slits for the respiration. Cyclostomata have the sucking and the circulatory, circular mouth without jaw. Their body is devoid of the scales and pair fins. Cranial and the vertebral columns are the cartilaginous. Circulation is of the closed type. Cyclostomes are the marine but migrates for the spawning to fresh water. After swarming within a few days, they die. Their larvae, after the metamorphosis, return to the ocean. For example, the petromyzon, it is also known as a lamprey, and the megzen, that is the hackfish. Now, the 4.2.11.2, that is the class, is the chondrichthys. They are the marine animals with a streamlined body and have the cartilaginous exoskeleton. Mouth is located ventrally. Notochord is a persistent throughout the life. Gill slits are the separate and without the operculum, that is the gills covers. The skin is a tough containing a minute placoid scales. Teeth are modified placoid scales which are the backwardly directed. Their jaws are very powerful. These animals are the predaceous. Due to absence of the air bladder, they have to swim constantly to avoid the sinking. The heart is a two-chambered, that is the one auricle and the one ventricle. Some of them are the electrical organ, for example, the torpedo, and the some possess the poisonous sting, for example, the trigon. They are the cold-blooded, known as a poculothermus animals. That is, they lack the capacity to regulate their body temperature. Now, sexes are the separate. In male, pelvic fins bear sex claspers. They have the internal fertilization, and many of them are the viviparous. For example, the scoliodon, it is also known as a dogfish. Then, the prestige, it is known as a sawfish. Carcharodon, that is known as a great white shark. And it Trigon, it is known as a string ray. Now, the 4.2.11.3 is a class is osteichthys. It includes the both marine and the fresh water with a bony exo endoskeleton. Their body is a streamlined, mouth is a mostly terminal. They have the more pairs of the gills which are covered by the operculum on each side. Skin is covered with the cycloid or a tenoid scales. Air bladder is a present which regulate the buoyancy. Heart is a two-chambered, one auricle and the one ventricle. They are the cold-blooded animals, sexes are separated, fertilization is usually external. They are mostly the oviparous and development is a direct. For example, the marine, marine fur are the 
exoitus it is also known as a flying fish then the hippocampus that is known as a sea horse uh, the fresh water form or the labio is also known as a rohu and katla uh, then the claris it is also known as a magur and in aquarium the betta that is uh, known as a fighting fish or a pterophyllum it is also known as angel fish now the 4.2.11.4 the class is amphibia as the name indicate group amphi means the dual and bios means the life amphibian can live in the aquatic as well as the terrestrial habitat most of them have the two pairs of the limbs body is divisible into the head and the trunk tail may be present in some the amphibian skin is a moist without scales the eyes have the eyelids the tympanum represent the airs alimentary canal urinary and the reproductive tracts opens into the common chambers called as a cloaca cloaca which opens to the exterior the respiration is by the gills lungs and through the skins the heart is a three chambered two auricular and the one ventricular there are the cold blooded animals sexes are separated fertilization is external and they are oviparous and development is indirect for example buffo means it is known as a toad rana means it is known as the frog then the hyla it is the tree frog the salamander the salamander then the ichthyophis that is the limbless amphibian now the 4.2.11.5 the class is a reptilia the class name refers to their the creeping or the crawling crawling mode of the locom- locomotion that is the latin is a repere or the reptum to creep or crawl they are mostly terrestrial animals and their body is covered by the dry and the corrified skin epidermal scales and the scutes they do not have the external air opening the tympanum represent the airs the limbs when present they are two pairs heart is usually three chambered but four chambered in the crocodile reptiles are the poculothermis snake lizard sheds their scales as a skin cast the sexes are separated fertilization is internal they are the oviparous and development is a direct for example the chelon means the turtle then the testudo is the tortoise then the chamelon that is the tree lizard then the callards that is the garden lizard crocodiles then the alligator alligators then the hemidactylus that is the wall lizard the poisonous snake like the naja means the cobra then the bangaras this means the crate and the viper means the viper now the 4.2 Point eleven point six is the class is aves. The cl- characteristic features of the aves or the birds are the presence of the feathers, and the most of them can fly except the flightless birds, for example, the ostrich. They possess the beaks. The fore limbs are modified into the wings, and the hind limbs generally have the scales and the, are modified for the walking, swimming, and the and the collapsing the tree branches. The skin is a dry without the gland except the oil glands at the base of the tails. The endoskeleton is the fully ossified that is the bony and the long bones and the hollow with the air cavities that is the pneumatics. The digestive tract tract of the bird has additional chambers and the crop and the gizzard. Heart is a completely four chamber and they are the warm blooded that is the homeothermous animals that is they are able to maintain the constant body temperature respiration is by the lungs and air sac connects to the lung supplement respiration sexes are separated fertilization is internal and they are the oviparous and development is a direct for example the corvus means the crow then the columba means the pigeon then the cetacula means the parrot then the struthio this the ostrich and the pau means the peacock then the aptonodis dites means the penguin and the new front means the vulture now the 4.2.11.7 is the class is a mammalia they are found in a variety of habitat 
polar ice caps, deserts, mountains, forests, grasslands and the dark caves. Some of them have the adapted to fly and lie in water. The most unique mammalian's characteristic is the presence of the milk producing glands that is the mammary glands by which the young ones are nourished. They have the two pairs of the limbs adapted for the walking, running, climbing, burrowing, swimming or flying. The skin of the mammal is unique in possessing the hairs, external hairs or pinnates are present. Different types of the teeth are present in the jaws, heart is a four chamber, they are the homo, homeothermous, respiration is by the lungs, sexes are the separated and the fertilization is internal. They are the viviparous with the few exceptions and the development is a direct. For example, the oviparous, the orni Ornithorhynchus, that is the platinus, then the viviparous, that is the macropus, that is the kangaroo, teropus, fly, flying fox, then the camelus, means the camel, macaca, means the monkey, ratus, means the rat, canis, means the dog, felis, means the cat, eliphas, means the elephant, then the yux, means the horse, delphinus, means the common dolphin, then the Balaenoptera means the bluefell, Panthera tigris means the tiger, and Panthera leo means the lion. The sign distinguishing features of the all phyla under the animal kingdom is comparison given below. Now the summary. Summary of the chapter number four is the kingdom, animal kingdom. The basic fundamental features such as the levels of organization, symmetry, cell organization, silom, segmentation, notochord, etc. have embedded, embedded us a broadly classified the animal kingdom. Besides the fundamental features, there are the many other distinctive characters which are the specific for the each phyla or the class. Porifera includes the multicellular animals which exhibit the cellular levels of organization and have the characteristic flagellate caonocytes. The cholenterates have the tentacles and bears the nid nidoblast. They are the mostly aquatic, sessile and the free floating. The tinophores are the marine animals which combs the plants and the platyhelminthes have the flat body and exhibit the bilateral symmetry. Parasitic forms shows the distinct suckers and the hooks. The ascalmenthes is the pseudocelomate and include the parasite as well as the non-parasitic roundworms. Annelids are the metamerically segmented animals with a true silo. The arthropods are most abundant group of the animal characters by the presence of the jointed appendages and the mollusks have the soft body surrounded by the external characteristic sheets. The body is covered with the external skeleton made of chitin. The echinoderms possess a spiny skins and the most distinctive features is the presence of the water vascular system and hemicordates are the small groups of the worm marine animals. They have the cylindrical body which with the proboscis, collar and the trunk. The phylum chordata include the animal which possess the notochord either throughout or during the early embryonic life. Other common features observed in the chordates are the dorsal, hollow, nerve cords and the paired pharyngeal gill slits. Some of the vert vertebrates do not possess the jaws, that is the ognatha, whereas the, some of them possess the jaws, that is the ganthostomata. Ognatha is represented by the class cyclostomata. They are the most primitive chordates are the ectoparasites on the fishes. Nathostomata has a two superclasses, Pisces and the tenophora, uh, Tetraphora. The classes Chondrichthys and the Ostichthys bears a fin for the locomotion and are grouped under the Pisces. Are the Chondrichthys are the fishes with the cartilaginous endoskeleton and are the marine. The classes Amphibia, Reptiles, Eus, Mammals have the two pairs of the limbs and are thus grouped under the Tetrapoda. Amphibians have the adapted to live both on the land and the water. Reptiles are the characterized by the presence of the dry and the cornified skin. The limbs are absent in the snake, fishes, amphibians and reptiles are the poculothermists, means the cold-blooded animals. Eels are the warm-blooded animals with the features on the with the feathers on their bodies and four limbs modified into the wings for the flying. 
hind limbs are adapted for the walking, swimming, perching, and the clutching. The unique features of the mammals are the presence of the mammary glands and the hairs on the skin. They are commonly exhibit the viviparity. Thank you so much.